हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल फॉर टुडे आर टॉपिक इज डाइन डिक्लेरेशन डाइन डिक्लेरेशन इज नो वेयर डिफाइंड बट इन लेम इन लैंग्वेज वैन अ पर्सन मेक्स अ स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग कॉज एंड सर्कमस्टांसिस ऑफ हिज दैट द स्टेटमेंट इज कॉल्ड डाइन डिक्लेरेशन नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडियन लॉ एंड इंग्लिश लॉ विद रिगार्ड्स टू डाइन डिक्लेरेशन द फर्स्ट बेसिस ऑफ डिफरेंस इज एप्रीहेंशन ऑफ दैथ इन इंडियन लॉ इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी that apprehension of that is not required before uh, giving any statement of dying declaration but in english law it is required second one is re- relevancy of dying declaration in indian law dying declaration is relevant in every proceeding whether it is criminal or civil but in english law it is only relevant in criminal proceeding third basis of difference is offense dying declaration is relevant in indian law in every case where the death of the question person comes into the question but in english law dying declaration is relevant in the offense of murder and culpable homicide only so difference is presumption when we talk about the presumption there is no presumption in indian law that the person dying always speaks truth but the presumption is found in english law the fifth one is whether death is required Yes in Indian law person if person doesn't die then not consider as dying declaration but in English law it is not required that person must die now we will talk about the case laws of dying declaration relevant and important case laws of dying declaration in Indian law first one is makhan singh versus state of